this is what it looks like under a 2020 Ford Transit driver's seat. This is where the engine battery is mounted and I've got a lot of things disassembled right now. So the driver's seat's removed, the battery's removed, the battery tray is removed. Looking inside, we have a flap here, but this hole right here goes through. You can see daylight straight through to the ground, the outside world. Likewise, this hole right here, same thing. But both of those holes are there for a reason. The bottom of the battery box goes there. One of these posts is the vent for the lead acid battery and the other one is just a locating pin and you can see there's an ovalized hole there's a piece of foam here and here which is pretty cheap but that forms the seal these connectors I understand that there's a point that you can uh, get a signal to know whether the engine is running or not or the key is on so that's useful for other project um, here is the the main fuse box that feeds the alternator circuit here's the hot side for the battery these two cables that are right here attach to the battery as part of the smart charging system they connect onto the each the positive and, and the negative terminals. One of them mounts on this guy, and the other over here on the battery, uh, right there. I'm going to take the cover off for the main fuse box, which is only really accessible after you take out the battery and the battery tray because to remove this there's two uh, clamps one here one here that attach here and here and then it's just got a, a little feature that tucks under the the side the end here so looking at the uh, the fuse box this is a really important one this 60 amp fuse is what connects via a strip of copper all the way out to where my finger is that's a customer point custom customer connection point number one I believe it is whether it's one or two there's a hole here where my finger goes through that you can see aligns with this other bolt and that's where customer connection point two or if I've got it numbers wrong whatever I think that's 175 amp service, whereas this one is 60 uh, based on that fuse right there, or possibly 75 and there's a 60. But the important thing to know is that the fuse is in here. So if you ever blow it, you got to take all this stuff apart, starting with remove the seat and there's a, a, a battery cover. All this stuff comes out, but I'm going to put this cover back on. Uh, I'll finish taking a good look in here. The Mega Fuse, 500 amp, 300 amp. And this is a 150 amp Mega Fuse. But this is the hot side of the battery coming in right along here. So this cover just sticks over. now it's it's snapped in place I'm gonna show what it looks like to now at this point I can put the battery box in but it's good to note that there's a, a conduit path behind my fingers that runs left and right in the van it's got a raised hump that will connect over to the passenger side seat which is where my destination is for a house battery so the, it's very easy to run the wires all the way across and not necessarily come well you could come through here if you have to from the back side kind of hard to swing around here but 
yeah, right here um, under the mat. You could get in very easily. But I'm not going to have to do any of that because they got the customer connection point right here, which has a cover. Well, you've got this insulator plate that's cut out for different size wire gauges. This is the the 60 amps path, and this is the the 175 or whatever the higher one. That because this vehicle only came with one battery, it doesn't have any of that other stuff in here but this just snaps right in place like so and it has a cover that'll cover that part when it's put in place that can be removed so it's all safe so I'll get back to what I was talking about I'm gonna put the battery box in just have to align the these uh, two pins I showed earlier and then it, it nests down inside the battery would would swing back in when there's a single battery it's oriented lengthwise north south aligned with the vehicle axis the negative terminal is going to sit here so I pick it up and plop it in here there's a piece of styrofoam that sits right in here that spaces the battery back that way and there's another bar that goes in between these two ribs and these two ribs north south and positions the battery like so from moving around and then the plastic cover goes on the back so I suppose to complete all this it might be nice for me to climb in and show those parts here I'll grab them and put them basically where they go this part ends up sitting like that and the other part sits when the batteries in there this bar I got it flipped upside down There you go. So this is the uh, vent tube that plugs into the hole right here in the battery box. It just inserts right there. I'll shove it in. And then the other end goes into the battery. So that's what locates it. And we'll bring the the cover back so if the battery was in there this cover would be covering all that up like so it has a port and a small plastic access point cover like so for the negative side of the battery here's the negative cable which is when it's in position it, it sits like so it bends back around like that there's a zip tie that retains it to this point right here that I removed and then it sits like that then when all that mess is in place you have this sheet metal part that tucks under the seat frame and has a, a provision for the wire grommet right here to nest into that but you can remove this and the battery cover all that stuff when the seats in place there's four bolts that hold the seat in place that are located one two th three and four so it just bolts right back on and here's a view under this, the bottom of the seat the critical thing is this bar right here so when you want to house a, a second battery under the driver or rather the passenger seat you have to clear this and it's about nine inches to the bottom of this bar from the floor when we're over here this passenger seat